Roman Britain was very different to the Britain we know today. Dense oak forests covered most of the land, and there were no large cities. Most of the one million inhabitants lived in small farming communities. Their houses were wooden and had thatched roofs. In contrast, the occupying Roman rulers lived in large villas and palaces. Their slaves constructed sewers, roads, public baths and aqueducts. Many of these still exist today. The Romans occupied Britain from AD 43 to AD 410. For a long time, there was peace and prosperity. However, by the end of the 4th century, barbarian invasions were becoming more frequent. At first, the Roman troops in Britain held off most of the invaders. Then in AD 410, the Roman Emperor Honorius called all Roman troops back to Italy to fight off invaders there. The Roman army never returned. Without this protection, the Britons struggled to keep the barbarians at bay. Over the next 200 years, there were lots of battles, and Britain became a melting pot of local and barbarian tribes. Scott tribes invaded from Ireland. They successfully conquered the north, which became known as Scotland. Meanwhile, the Angles, Saxons, Jutes and Frisians came across the North Sea to invade Britain. These were Germanic warrior bands, mostly from Central Europe. Further north, the Picts crossed Hadrian's Wall and marched south. By AD 610, most of Britain was governed by the Saxons. Finally, in 616 AD, an important and decisive battle took place. The Battle of Chester. There, the Anglo-Saxons fought their way to victory over the native Britons.